Nathan, congratulations. A point against Michael Van Gowen, but when you reflect, is it a bad point, the way you played tonight? <laughs> I've just been saying then, I actually didn't think I played <laughs> as well as I played all week, and it sounds mental, and I think that is the, the weird thing with that. I knew we played okay, but I thought it was probably one of my worst games of the week, which is mental, really, because obviously stats show differently, but... Um, yeah, going into that game, I would have took a point. Um, for me, he's, he's, he's the best player in my era, and he's, he's 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 still the best player in that. So any point you take off Michael is brilliant. And yeah, I'm happy to finish my week off with a point. When you were playing so well, the camera panned to you as he hit that one four eight. Were you thinking, here we go again? It's going to be one of those nights. Yeah, it was a great shot. To be fair to him, uh, fantastic shot. He wasn't. Well, I didn't think he was playing that well up until that moment, and that spurred him on, and I think it spurred me on. Um, you know, shots like that change um, change how games games pan out, and he could have easily steamrolled me after taking that shot out. But, you know, once again, I, I showed I'm a very tough opponent to beat. I dug deep, and uh, I took a point, and I don't know if you think differently, but I think your point was a fair result tonight, to be honest with you. So, um, I'm happy with that point. I nicked a point last night. I felt I deserved a point against Dimmy. This Premier League, it kind of levels itself out. So, six out of ten. I think that's quite a good work, uh, a good week's work for me. I think arguably you deserved all, all two tonight. I was watching it. Although like you said, I thought you were the better player. Oh, but you, I, was, I, I, I was in it. I didn't, I didn't see it. If you think I deserved all two points, Phil, listen, I deserved all two points. If you're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you're an expert. Uh, you're, um, your little smug grin at the end on that finish. The dart at eights and sixteens. Was it for an eight? Because the look on your face was was it for a sixteen? No, it was for a sixteen. Um, and I'm not lying. I threw that twenty, and it came out horrendous. Like <laughs> it was probably the worst thrown dart. You know when I do that, that <laughs> odd little jump. That's kind of how it went. I shut my eyes, pray to God, um, and. Until he called it, I actually think I overpitched it. I thought I'd overpitched it and I thought I'd missed. And uh, when it's a game shot, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, So, yeah, it was it was an awful phone tap. But, like I said, I think I deserved a point in that game. So, uh, yeah. I know we've spoken about the crowd many times because you're the one that feeds off of it. But was tonight's circumstances even worse oh. for you? Yeah, I said it to Mike at the end, uh, obviously these things happen and we've all been told we've been told to tone it down obviously we've got the bands on and you know I appreciate that and that obviously the callers can't give their normal shout and um, darts is all about adrenaline about feeling good about pumping about taking them shots out and giving it some so your opponent knows and um, it just didn't feel right tonight obviously when George's it, when we're hitting 180 and George's go 180 you can't feed off it. So, yeah, it was tough. It was difficult, especially against a player like Michael, who I thought different circumstances tonight could have been, you know, it could have been a, a voice ruiner, shall we say. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I enjoyed the game, to be fair. I always enjoy playing. You know, to be in a posi position that I'm in to, to play the best player in the world um, on TV, I'm very happy. And when I, when I nick a point off him, it, it feels better as well. And after five nights of the Premier League, how would you assess your start? Yeah, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, obviously, coming into the tournament, I was second favourite to get eliminated. Um, everyone writing me off because I've had a few bad tournaments. And um, as we said prior to, to the Premier League, I love proving people wrong. And I think this week I proved a lot of people wrong, a lot of doubters wrong. Listen, I've had a few bad results. I've got my old faithfuls back. Um, I'm playing well. I'm full of confidence. I'm happy in life. Um, she bought me, bought me up my first house. Um, you know, what what I've got, not got to be happy about. I'm, I'm enjoying being on there, and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. And finally, because I forgot to say it on Sky, and you're going to go mental. Happy birthday, Jacob, my brother. I hope you have a great day, mate. Nathan, congratulations and thanks for joining us, and happy housework when you get home. <laughs> Thank you. Can't wait. Hi, Nathan. Congratulations on the results tonight. The, the, the draw was a well earned draw. Um, do you feel like this is the best we've seen of Nathan now since probably probably the Premier League a year ago, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Um, 
it was important to me to get off to a good start early on in the week, which is obviously what I did against Glenn. Um, I played well against him. I played well all week, and like I said, I think that was probably the, based on the stats, even though I didn't feel it. Nathan coming back to um, the stuff that I used to produce 18 months ago, and every night this week I've got more confident, and yeah, I'm just, just happy with my game and uh, happy to, to be playing at uh, a standard that I can compete. When you put your head on the pillow tonight, you must be very relieved because you feel like you've been in this sort of cave for a, for a year now and you've been stuck in having such a burst onto the scene. Now you're seeing the light again. You've suddenly reborn. It, it, it must be a massive... You must have started to have some real self-doubt. Not really. Um, I, I, listen, Phil, I, I, don't, I never doubt myself. Um, everyone else doubts me uh, when I'm doing interviews, my journalists and that. People doubt me, people write me off, Sky write me off. Whoever is doing write-ups, always write me off. Everyone knows that I'm a fighter. Um, I'm, I believe I'm the toughest player in darts to beat because I never give up. Um, I've, okay, I've had a little bit of dipping form, but I'm still playing well. And all it took was a good couple of results to get back to the... Get me, get me hot going, get me swagger going, if you know what I mean. And this week has certainly helped me get back on track. And uh, listen, I feel fantastic at the moment. I feel so confident. Every time I go on that stage, I feel like I'm going to win. I'm so happy with, me, with how my darts are going. I'm happy in life. And, uh, you know, I just can't wait now to get this second week started and uh, just keep getting better and better. And just finally for me, um, is your darts or your golf on the PlayStation better this week? Oh, well, my golf on the PlayStation was good. And then I think Martin, my manager, has been buying better clubs. So he beat me today. <laughs> so, um, but nah, um, nah, certainly my darts. Um, but I am playing in a comp tomorrow at golf. So uh, I'll answer that question next week. <laughs> good, good stuff. Listen, thanks for your time. Cheers, Nate. Nathan, you spoke there about people writing you off. Does, does that fire you up? Do you, do you pay much attention to what the pundits say? Uh, I pay a lot of attention to what the pundits say, to be quite honest with you. I think that could be one of, could be one of my downfalls and could be one of, one of my uh, attributes. I always look on Twitter, Facebook, um, mm -hmm. because things spur me on. And everyone, like I said earlier, I'm writing me off, OK, I'm still not safe and I'm still not in that top four and I'm still not past the past judgment night. But the way I'm playing, the confidence I've got, you know, I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going home this week, one happy guy, because... Um, yeah, again, I proved a lot of people wrong and I'm proud how I've handled this week and I'm happy with how I'm playing. We saw you have a bit of a chat to Michael at the end there. What did he say to you? Um, can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> um, all I know, I said to him, it was very tough tonight. It was very flat uh, with the caller and etc. because of the situation. But um, I can't remember what he said. Uh, when he walked off stage, he said, play well done. Um, but yeah, we've got good respect with each other, me and Michael. He knows I look up to him. He stays in many interviews. He knows that I see him as well, he, he's the best in our sport. And I've always looked up to Michael. I want what he's got. And um, so sometimes that goes against me when I play him. Um, and I think he respects me that, that I, uh, yeah, I respect him so highly. Um, but, you know, why wouldn't I? He, he's, the best of, he's the best guy in, in my sport that I play. Well, most of the players are going to be resting up next week. It sounds like you're going to have a, a bit of a busy one on your hands. Yeah, definitely. Um, really, really busy. Um, teeing off in nine hours. <laughs> uh, now nah, I've got um, I've just uh, renovating my house at the moment, so uh, I've got a lot of work to do this week. Um, getting getting it all ready. Uh, we've moved out. Uh, me and my partner and the, and the kids. Um, just got another place at the moment until all the work's done. So yeah, it's tough, but I can't wait to get home, see my kids, see my missus, see how me. Uh, the house is coming on and uh, you know, a couple of days off, a couple of rounds of golf and then back on the board ready for uh, the next bit of the, uh, the Premier League. Well, thanks for your time, Nathan, and well done on a great performance tonight. Thank you. Um, Nathan, you're now guaranteed third place uh, in this block of events. Fun. Oh, beautiful. Um, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is something at least, plenty more nights to go, I know, but would you have liked to continue the momentum or is it nice that you've got the break? Uh, no, it's nice to have a break. Um, it's tough, obviously. I've not seen, you know, I've been away for a week now. Um, it, it's been a very intense five nights. Um, I play some, well, everyone's fantastic in one playing. It, it's, it's very tough mentally to keep getting on that stage night in, night out. Uh, you don't have time to reflect on stuff. Um, but now, nah, I'm happy with my five days 
five days work, but now it's, it, it, I'm looking forward to getting on tonight, um, seeing Kirsty and uh, Brooke and Millie, um, spending a couple of days with them, a couple of days with my nine iron, and uh, back on the practice board.